so we got breakfast right here. Now this, that's a bowl of oatmeal. Let's see. It's all just oatmeal, water, some, I got some cinnamon, some mixed berries. And, you know, that may sound, sound really bland, but I'm about to add the secret ingredient. Now, all you carb-phobic people, you know, that's, it's gonna make me fat. It's gonna make me so obese. Just so fat. But, I've been doing this for a while. And I've been on prednisone the whole time. Um, a steroid that is known for making people just obese, like getting massive amounts of weight. Um, originally, I wasn't on this diet, and then I went on prednisone, and then I went on this diet after being on prednisone for a little while. Um, and I actually dropped weight while on prednisone. Not after prednisone, I was still on prednisone. I'm still on prednisone. This is my prednisone right here. I have like empty bottles right here. Like I've been taking prednisone for a long time. I'm still on it. And I've been eating extremely high carbohydrate diet. Like 80 to 90% of my calories coming from carbohydrates. I don't always use cane sugar because it's not a health food. It's better to eat whole plant foods, but you know, it's an alright backup plan, especially if you're trying to save money. That's That'll save you a lot of money because uh, it'll give you really cheap calories. But carbs don't make you fat. If they made you fat, I would be obese. I'm on medication that makes me obese. I don't even have moon face that most people have. I, after going on this uh, this high carbohydrate diet, two weeks in, dropped weight from the prednisone because I had moon face initially, and I just it's gone now. It's and I feel like a high carb vegan diet is not only a good weight loss diet, it's a good weight maintenance diet because I've heard of so many people who couldn't gain weight and then they went to a high carb vegan diet, they went up to their perfect weight and they've just stabilized since then. I mean, I lost weight and I've just stabilized since then. I didn't lose too much weight. I lost just a moon face and now I've been stable. Actually, I've been gaining some muscle back. Um, yeah, so don't, don't be afraid of carbohydrates. Carbohydrates do not make you fat. I, I would be obese. Uh, actually, I told a nurse... Um, that I had been adding refined sugar to my smoothies when the when the fruit just isn't sweet enough. Um, so then she's like, "Oh my God, you're gonna get diabetes!" So then she she took my blood test. I was it was my fasting blood glucose, um, and I recently put quotes around it because I was eating dates, very very sugar rich foods um, or fruit, and it you know. My, I'll, I'll actually, I'll, I'll show you guys my, my blood test. I'll be back in a second. So I started a low fat raw vegan diet, uh, March slash April of 2013. I started the transition. Uh, so right here I have tests from before I was on a very, very high carbohydrate diet and after, uh, 1030 when I had not only been consuming a lot of carbohydrates, but also refined sugar in my smoothies, like a, like a half a cup at a time, like not a teaspoon. Uh, you know, like 98 teaspoons at one time. Um, yeah, so my, my levels stayed exactly the same. And all right, let's look at glucose. 60 to 99. Oh, 83. That, that looks pretty good, right? Well, let's, let's look at my old glucose test. Let's see. 87. That was before uh, eating a bunch of sugar. And then 86 before eating a bunch of sugar. 10, 30, 13. Oh, 83. Huh. I went down even though I was consuming a lot of refined sugar. I mean, how how's that work out? I mean, uh, it even even says right here my most recent hemoglobin A1C four point six to six point oh four point eight says non diabetic, non diabetic. Read it for yourself. And that's when I was consuming uh, a large amount of refined sugar. I was consuming like you know that bag I showed you is uh, about a four and a half pound bag. I consumed that in about a month. So, sugar causes diabetes? Not a chance. So this is a pretty big bowl of oatmeal. It's actually, it's really heavy. I mean, when was the last time you ate a bowl of oatmeal this big? You know, if you're pretty slim, maybe it was pretty recently. If not, uh, maybe it's been a while. Uh, if it has been a while, then maybe you should start carving up. And another thing we noticed about medical sclerosis is, uh, I, I was taught this in medical school, so are you. You're in medical school, or a nurse. You were taught this too. You were taught that medical sclerosis is So, I'm done. Oh, that was 
a lot of food. Ugh, I'm not gonna eat eat again for a while. Yeah, I know. No, man, I only eat like a. Uh, two to three times a day, you know, people think that when you eat high carbohydrate, vegan diet, you're just eating all the time because you can't get full, and that is not the case at all, so, you know, you just saw me eat all that, uh, you know, carb up, and, uh, you know, maybe while you're at it, watch a video called Diet and Multiple Sclerosis by John McDougall, a uh, really, really fantastic doctor, um, I know it's not CIDP, but it's very similar, and there's like almost no studies done on CIDP, so, you know, multiple sclerosis videos are like the next best thing. So, anyway, now I'll see you guys later.